have a lot of opinions. Can you imagine if I were your mother-in-law? <laughs> The One Woman Show Anne is the story of the fierce and inspirational Texas Governor Ann Richards. And tonight, Holland Taylor's Tony-nominated performance will make its West Coast premiere at the Pasadena Playhouse, just down the road from where I live. And joining us live, despite everything that she has to prepare for ahead of tonight's big show, is Holland Taylor herself. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. Oh, it's our honor. I, I mean. Ms. Taylor, you have done this show before, obviously, many, many times. You've had years of acting on stage and on screen. But I have to ask you, with tonight being the West Coast premiere, do you still get butterflies? Absolutely. I always do. Also, it's, an, it's a new theater. You know, I play the same play and on the, on the same set, which is a gorgeous set of the governor's office. But it, every theater is different. The whole feel of it, the, the whole sense of where you are in the, in the, in the darkness is a, a new theater is a complete like, game changer. So it's a new theater. Also, I just had a day off after our dress, uh, invited dress rehearsal on Sunday night. And it's like you're a day away from the play. It's like, wait, what now? What? Uh, so there's a, there's that. So sure I do. I absolutely do. <laughs> I get excited too. I get excited because it, as you say, it's, it's not really Anne's story, although there's a lot of history in this play. It's really a, a presentation of who she was entirely as a person because she was an extremely inspiring person. And I and she inspired people personally. And I thought if I could really create like a almost a hologram of her, it would carry the same inspiration with it. So the the play is not so much a story as a real evocation of this person in front of you. And people come back after us and say this play makes me want to be a better person. I mean, it's just it's she's a very inspiring, uh, almost a saint now in, in to some people. And so. I'm trying to bring that to the audience. I'm, I'm, it's, she lifted people up, and I'm trying to create that experience. Uh, so it's a, it's a pretty exciting night. Absolutely. Even if you don't know and, and didn't know who Ann Richards was, right? I mean, the second female governor of Texas, serving from 1991 to 95, a former school teacher known for just being so outspoken and about feminism and her one-liners. So yes. share yes. some more of your personal thoughts about her legacy. Well, this, you know, uh, when she died, uh, I had met her once, so that isn't the point. I mean, I had followed her, and I, she was an inspiring figure. She was an important woman in our country, and she died very unexpectedly to me anyway, and quite young, just 73, and, and the loss was just so effective that months later, I thought, I'm grieving as if she's a member of my family, and I realized, and I had an enormous desire to do something creative, and as I said, I, I, I wanted to recreate her, not so much this happened and then that happened and this is her history, but her, her connection with, with the public because that was her great gift. She was a great communicator, if you remember the, the keynote address that made her internationally famous. So I, I, I was horrified and sad she was gone and I wanted to somehow keep the memory of her very much alive in the American air. And uh, I, I believe I have done so and I want to continue to do so. Well, I think you've convinced and a lot of people believe you have done so. I, I think, yeah, and everyone can maybe take something away from that or, oh, I, you know, I'm going to be a little bit more like that, you know? And, well, and, I think we all have a woman yeah. like this in our lives. Yeah. Most of us do. Some favorite aunt, your grandmother, your mother, your sister, some great woman that you met who just do, comes, she comes in the room and everybody's like, oh, she's here because there's a lifting. Uh -huh. It happens, uh, and these people are usually involved in, a, in their community in some way because they tend to be people who say, "Oh, we should fix that. Let's all get together and do this." You know, it, we all have someone like this, and this is this is the country's version of this yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Real quick, and I mean, we could talk. I feel like your time's so precious, but I, I would love to talk to you for hours. But um, <laughs> uh, so there are reports I was reading that this will be your final run portraying well, Governor Richards. Any truth to that? No, no. I, that that is stated. That is uh, that is sort of the way it is. It's a very big deal for me in my life yeah. to do this play. It takes four or five months, and I'm get I'm getting up there. This is a huge text. This is a written play. This isn't just a, a rambling kind of thing. Mm -hmm. This is a driving play that moves. Uh, there's two pauses. There are two <laughs> pauses in this play. Wow. Which I can sip water. That's it.
So, so. Uh, it's a big deal. And I, I, I've covered the major theatrical cities. This is the last, you know, big theatrical city in America, and I made it to the Pacific. And I think, uh, I think that's a good, a good final, final stop. I agree, and I hope to make it out there for, for at least one of the performances and go out with a bang, and, and I'm so excited for you, too, and I know how much work goes into that. Wow, just reading about the hours and the months, and oh, so best of luck to you, Holland Thank you. Taylor. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Wonderful. Okay, again, Anne is playing at the Pasadena Playhouse starting tonight, running until April 24th for showtimes and how to purchase tickets. Simply go to our website. It's so easy. KCONline.com and click Scene on TV.